Hi there, boys and girls, and welcome to another story behind the picture. And today we're going to talk about this picture right here. And I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, but it's just a picture of a guitar. But it's actually a well-known guitar played by a very famous musician. So stay tuned, and I'll tell you all about the story behind the picture. Well, welcome back. Now, this picture right here, how did I get it? What's the story behind? And is there something interesting that you can learn from this? As I tell you things that happened to me as a working photographer, that you can have a takeaway either to make something happen with your career or it's just entertaining, one of the two. But hopefully you get something out of my story. So let's start from the very beginning and that is not only am I a professional photographer, but I'm also a web developer. And every once in a while I get someone emailing me or contacting me about working on a project for them to develop a website. So it just so happened a couple of guys contacted me and they were wanting to promote this new guitar that they have, which you plug in some kind of electricity to it and uh, it zaps the wood and you've got some kind of um, zapped electric lightning bolt thing going through the wood. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll go and talk to these guys and see what they're all about. So I go over and meet with them and we have a little chit chat and all that kind of stuff about what I can do to help put their website together for them and uh, what they want from me and all that kind of good stuff. And in the conversation, they say that one of their guitars is going to be played by this guitarist. Go, okay, well, what's the story about this guy playing the guitar? And they said, well, he's playing in this girl's band and she's in this little hole in the wall on Santa Monica and it's called Gold Diggers and if you want to go up there and shoot pictures that'd be really great. So I'm thinking okay I'll go up there it could be interesting I might get something from that uh, especially since it's uh, this uh, girl who's playing and she's rather nice looking and plays the lap steel guitar and she also plays the fiddle. So I'm thinking um, it could be interesting. So I go over to Santa Monica and it takes me about a half an hour to find a parking space because if you know anything about LA parking is premium so eventually I find a space go up to the club and I'm on the guest list so I just go in after checking in with the guy at the door and the club is a nice place it's got a little dance floor in the front the stage is pretty close but the lighting is absolutely horrendous and you can see in this picture right here, it's horrendous. It's all purpley and everything like that, which I guess is what the video guys wanted to do for some kind of psychedelic reason. Uh, maybe it's something to do with the Jim Morrison, uh, you know, LSD thing. But there's this swirly thing in the background, uh, oil kind of thing. And as I said, it's all purpley. And during the performance of the girl who was doing the show, Andrea, uh, she actually said, could somebody put some light on my guitar? I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm not the only one that thought the lighting was not terrific. But heads up, if lighting is already going to be a problem, well, what else is going to be a problem? Well, usually in a small club like this, the biggest problem you have is the audience also want to take photographs. They want to steal your thunder as a professional photographer. So you got to watch out for people with their camera phones, trying to get the shot just to email their friend to say, oh, I'm at this place and it's cool and everything else. Meanwhile, let's say the professional that's trying to get the shot of the artist on stage has to battle with this. So you've got to sort of, you know, juggle around to try to find a decent position and shoot around some of these people, along with the horrendous lighting. Now, sometimes when you go to a bigger concert, like I've done with some other clients, I go to a sound check first and I know exactly where I'm going to be, which is usually in a pit for the three songs, and then I'm going to walk around. But in this case, it's a small club, so it's a free-for-all. The situation is, is the young girl who's playing there, Andrea, she is calling up various different musicians to play with her, a guitar player, and she had a couple of singers and a few other different people. So I find out that the guy who's playing the guitar that I'm supposed to take photographs of, he's only going to do it in one song and it's going to be down the road. So I basically just start shooting some pictures of the band, uh, you know, the bass player, the drummer, whatever. So I'm looking at my exposures, checking what I'm doing and looking. And whilst I'm looking at a couple of images, I happen to notice on stage that there was this SG guitar. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, I think I, I've recognized a guitar from somewhere, but I couldn't place it. And lo and behold, I look over and I see this guy 
sitting down in this chair, sort of just moving his hands up and down an invisible guitar, and I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, I think I know that guy. Uh, name kind of escapes me. So I go out to the door guy, thinking the door guy is going to tell me who this guy is, and I go, is that who I think it is? And, of course, he doesn't tell me, so I'm going, okay, well, I, I don't want to look like an idiot and not know this guy's name, so I go back in, and as I'm going in, I hear somebody say, Robbie Krieger. And I'm thinking, Robbie Krieger of The Doors. That's who this guy is. I go back over. He's gone. I'm thinking, where the hell did he go to? But his guitar is still on stage because now I'm connecting the two together and it's the SG that he plays and it's sitting on stage. So I'm thinking, maybe he'll come back. Sure enough, a couple of minutes later, he comes back and there he is. He's sitting there. And I'm thinking, maybe I have an opportunity to shoot Robbie Krieger from The Doors. Next thing I know, she announces him, he gets up on stage, and boom, there he is, Robbie Krieger playing some of the door stongs. And it's like he just switched on like a light when he stood on stage, and the band obviously knows all the door songs, so they just kick into high gear and they start playing. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, I never in a million years thought that I would be shooting Robbie Krieger on stage, one of the members of the original Doors. And here I am doing it. And I, literally, I could touch the guy. He was that far away from me. It was amazing. So that's how I got this great shot of the SG guitar, which is the one that he's played all these years, and him playing it. So there you have it. That's the story. Now, if you're wondering what I used when I was taking those photographs, I used a 6D Canon camera with a 50 millimeter lens because he wasn't that far away. It was easy for me to shoot those shots. And all I did to get the stage shots was just to back up a little bit and I was able to get the whole stage. So there you have it. That's the story behind the picture, the SG that Robbie Krieger from The Doors played. So if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there and some other great photographs that might inspire you to go out and do something of your own. You can also download a PDF of a book I put together and that might help assist you in creating some of your own pictures. You can also go to my commercial website, andrefelix.com, and check out that. And all I would like to ask from you is maybe make a comment. Please subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you very much. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.